Hey, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Mikkel. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Hope everyone is having a day of fighting back and staying strong. I'm also having a day of fighting back and staying strong. I appreciate all the love and support. And thanks again for tuning in with me for another video. For today's topic subject title, it's going to be on, it's going to be about, it's going to be titled, Stranger in My Hometown and Entrapment. I feel like I'm a stranger in my hometown and they try to entrap me to be stuck and stay here in my hometown. I was born and raised in Baltimore, Maryland. I've been here all my life, but I feel like a stranger in my hometown. I feel like a stranger in my city and state. I feel like I'm unwelcomed. I feel like I'm not welcome here. I'm targeted and it's like they've been trying to bring me down. They've been trying to ruin my life. It's like the evil gang stalkers here, the, the people that work for the gang stalking program, they're trying to get me in car accidents. I do food delivery. I'm Uber Eats and Graha driver. So I, I need my car to deliver food. That's how I make my money. That's my bread and butter. And with this gang stalking and targeting stuff, they know that I need my car. They know my car is a, is a big part of my source of income. It's how I make a living. It's how I take care of myself. So, they're trying to just get me in car accidents, back to back. They're trying to mess up my vehicle so I cannot work. They messed up my vehicle last year and I could not work. I was on a work for seven months. I was on a work for a long time. I was out of work for a long time. And they're trying to do it again. It's like they're attacking me from everywhere. They're trying to attack my finances. They're trying to attack my peace of mind. They're trying to attack me spiritually, mentally, physically, psychologically, and emotionally. It's like they're spiritually attacking me from all angles, but I stay strong. They can't break me and they mad. They realize that they can't break me, so they come harder at me. They keep coming harder. They keep fighting me. They keep fighting me back harder. All because they can't break me. They keep fighting me harder. Evil can't stand losing. Evil love to win. Evil evil like to have its way. Evil can't stand losing. These evil people don't want you winning over top of them. These evil people, they don't want you to get a W. Us targeted individuals and us chosen ones, we cannot get a W over them. We cannot get a win over them. We cannot be victorious. So they attack us from all angles. They're trying to make my life be a living nightmare. They're trying to make my life a living hell. 
and misery. They tried to make my life miserable, but because I've ascended spiritually with my mental abilities, I don't care about this matrix no more. It's fake. This matrix is a fake world. It's a fake simulation. I don't care about this matrix. I don't care about this matrix no more. I don't care about this matrix any longer. I don't care. And so it's like, it's crazy because they're trying to get me in car accidents and they're still messing with my vehicle. They're still tampering and messing with my car. It's like they've been messing with my brakes. I had to pay money to get my brakes fixed. They just try to cause any kind they're trying to cause any kind of emergency that's going to break you. They want us broke with no money. We can't have no success in money, no business, no career. We can't be successful in nothing with an outcast a society. And I feel like an outcast in my hometown. I feel like I'm outcast. It's like everyone in my hometown is in on it. It's like all the evil people in my hometown is in on it. All of them that's involved in this gang stalking and this targeting, this harassment, this organized policing. It's like all the evil people, all the evil people in my hometown is in on it. It's like they is in on it. Every day when I go out, I'm being watched. I'm constantly, I'm constantly being watched. And when I'm driving, people is now putting on their headlights in the daytime. Headlights is for when it's raining at nighttime. But it be sunny outside. And these drivers got their headlights on in the daytime. And they always be driving behind my car. The headlights is on during the daytime. And they always driving behind me. They're behind my vehicle. And these drivers be these are gang stalkers. They drive behind me. And they try to chase me on the road. They try to chase me. It's like they try to chase me. I'm being chased on the road. I'm being chased on the road, on the street, while I'm driving. They're trying to get me into a car accident. Yeah, they're trying to get me to an accident. It's crazy. It's like they be, they be tailing behind my car real close and be speeding. They be speeding real fast, but they're trying to hit the back of my car. They be speeding real fast. They be tailing behind my vehicle. They be chasing me on the road. But they're trying to hit my car from behind. They're trying to hit the back of my vehicle. They be messing, they be messing with my tires, they gave me flat tires. I had to spend money and get new tires. I had to spend money and get my brakes fixed. They've been tampering and messing with my brakes. They still scratch at my car. They put this strange, they put this strange black stuff on my car, black, blue, and yellow stuff be on my car. They be scratching and staining my car. They always scratching and staining my vehicle. Everything is to sabotage me. It's like, because they know I'm trying to leave. I'm trying to get out of my hometown. I'm not welcome here. I don't care to be here anymore. And gang stalking follow you 
but gang stalking is less gang stalking is less in some states. Gang stalking is more intense and more severe in some states. And gang stalking is less severe and less tense in other states. So I'm trying to go to a place where I know I know gang stalking is everywhere and is always gonna follow you. But I'm trying to move to a city and state where the gang stalking is less intense and less severe and they're trying to stop me they know my gang stalking is terrible here in my hometown so they're trying to entrap and keep me here they're trying to just mess with my vehicle and trying to keep me stuck to where i can't move to another city or state they're trying to get me stuck and trap me to where i cannot relocate and move. And so I stay in my hometown and, and get harassed severely, get real bad. They're trying to keep me down. They want to destroy me. They try to destroy me, but they can't because I'm strong. I'm strong mentally. I'm strong in my subconscious mind. My mental is strong. I don't care about this matrix no more. I don't care about this matrix no more. I don't care about the money and materialism, the success, the high paying jobs, the six figure jobs, the social status, the high social status, and the high categories of the rich and wealthy and the high middle class. I don't care about all that. I don't care about none of that nonsense. It's all fake. And all those people at the top of the pyramid, they've all sold their souls. They're sold out. They sacrifice people. They sacrifice their self by selling out and selling their soul. So what they get, it's all borrowed and fake. It's long to them. And they got that success by cheating, selling out, selling out, selling your soul, and sacrificing people, and sacrificing your soul. You cheating. You cheated to get ahead in this fake matrix world. You used a cheat code and cheated. So, that kind of stuff don't faze me. But like I say, they know I'm struggling with trying to keep up. They're trying to make you aware I cannot keep up. They keep messing, they keep messing with my vehicle and messing with my finances. They're trying to make you aware I can't afford to get repairs on my car. I can't afford to keep up my car insurance, my vehicle registration. They're trying to make it to what they're trying to make it to the point of where I cannot keep up a car. They're trying to make it where I cannot keep they're trying to make it where I cannot keep up the maintenance and the upkeeping of a car. They're trying to make it where I cannot afford to keep up and have a vehicle. Cause even if even even if they take my car away from me, even if they take my car away from me, I'm not going back into the matrix. I'm not getting a nine to five job with no company, no fast food jobs, no stores, no warehouses, no companies, and no businesses. I'm not going back into the workforce. I'm not going back into the matrix workforce. I'm not going back into a corporate world and working for the matrix. I like being my own boss. I like being a entrepreneur. I like being self-employed. 
So even if my car gone and I can't do food delivery, I'm not I'm not going back into the matrix world or working. I'm not going back to corporate world. I'm not going back into corporate. I'm not going back to these matrix jobs. I can't do it. I've ascended and transcended so high. I've transitioned so high that I cannot do it. I just cannot do it. I'm too woke and aware to do it. I'm on such a high spiritual level, a high conscious level that I just can't do it. I cannot go back to the matrix. I cannot go back into the matrix and start working these matrix jobs. I can't be I cannot be at these matrix workplaces, the corporations, businesses. I just can't do it. So if I lose my car, I'm just gonna I got I'm just gonna keep working on my online businesses on social media. I'm working on my social media influence. I'm going to work I'm going to work on my social media influencer business. Yeah, I'll just work on my social media influencer business. I'm just trying to work on my online businesses. I don't care if I'm homeless. I don't care because I know that I'm a spiritual warrior. I'm a strong warrior. I'm a lioness. I'm a I'm a god. I'm a goddess. So I'm going to figure out a way to make it on my own as a goddess and as a lioness. Like I said, I don't care whatever they try to do to me. I'm leaving. I'm relocating. Next year, I, I, I was, I'm relocating. I'm out of here. Like in the beginning, like... When this year is out, once the new year is in, in the in the beginning of the month of January, I'm relocating. Cause I, because I'm not going to allow them to entrap me and keep me here. When something's trying to entrap you and keep you stuck in a place, when something's trying to entrap you and keep you stuck in a place. You gotta push yourself out. You got to push yourself out. You gotta go ahead and just do what you wanna do. You gotta go ahead and just do what you want to do. You can't let them entrap you, stop you, and keep you stuck. You gotta push yourself. So, and they're not going to trap me and keep me stuck. I'm pushing myself out. I'm relocating. I'm moving. I'm not staying stuck in my hometown. I'm relocating. I'm moving. I'm pushing myself out. I'm pushing myself out. I'm a cow. Like, comment, share, subscribe. One love for love and for love. I gotta go. Bye.